We've given one of these four people a fortune worth over $5,000 in cash and prizes, but not necessarily for keeps. The other three people want to take it away. But first, they've got to find out who it is that's got the loot. Is it you, Ray Pierce, from Fort Worth, Texas? Is it you, Barbara Lemons, from Tulsa, Oklahoma? Is it you, Bob Hout, from Washington, D.C.? Is it you, Carol Mitchell, from Clifton, New Jersey? Well, whoever the faker is, you better watch out, cause here! Before our show, one of these four players was chosen by Lot to be what we call the faker. And he or she is holding over $5,000 in cash and prizes. Now, the other three players, the fortune hunters, don't know who the faker is. The faker knows who he or she is and wants to avoid detection, doesn't want to get caught. Object of the game, be the first player to correctly identify the faker. Whoever does that will meet the faker at the end of our show and try to take away that faker's fortune. Now... How do the fortune hunters identify the faker? Simple, by competing for clues to the faker's identity. The faker will be competing for clues too because any clue the faker sees is a clue the other players don't get to see. But before anybody gets to see a clue, they must first correctly answer two questions. You'll see how it all works as we go along. And as we go along, see how good you are at spotting the faker. Hi, everybody. Hi, Bob. Hi, Bob. Ray, Barbara, Bob, and Carol, you all know how we play. Two right answers and you get to see a clue to the faker's identity. Put your hands on your buzzers. Good luck to you. Here's your first question. Chirping, singing, flying, blue. Which is not a kind of nun? Carol. Chirping. That's right. right. Chirping is right. There was a singing nun, the flying nun, and blue nun wine, but there is no chirping nun. See how it works? It's the one that doesn't belong. Carol, that's good for you. You have one right answer. Get another right answer, and you'll get to see a clue. Here's the next question. The little drummer boy, Mr. Tambourine Man, 76 trombones, the stripper. Which could not fit in a telephone booth? Carol again. Mr. Tambourine Man. Sorry, no. Bob, 76 All trombones. Right, 76 right. trombones is right. Bob and Carol, you each have one right answer. You need two to see a clue. Here's the next question. Standing at the bar, sitting on a stool, drink in hand, bottoms up. Which is not a good position for watching TV? Bob, uh, bottoms up. That's right. Bob, it's kind of hard to watch TV with your bottom up, isn't it? Yes. Good news for you, though. Two right answers. You get to exchange those for the very first clue of the day. None of our other players will see it. So here it is for you, Bob, and you folks at home. Bob and only Bob, uncover your clue and take a look at it. Behind the faker is the person who appeared on the cover of Time magazine most often. And let's see what we've got. Behind Ray is Queen Elizabeth. Behind Barbara, Grace Kelly. Bob, behind you, that's Franklin Roosevelt. And behind Carol, Richard Nixon. Bob, look those four choices over. If you know who the clue is referring to, you'll know the identity of the faker. Queen Elizabeth, Grace Kelly, Franklin Roosevelt, Richard Nixon. Bob, at this time you have a decision to make, and that is whether or not you want to freeze. In other words, commit to who you think the faker is. If you think you know, now's the time to freeze, because remember, the first player to correctly identify the faker wins the game. But once you freeze, you can't change your mind. So, Bob, what do you want to do? Do you want to freeze, or do you want to play? Play on. No, I'm going to play on. Going to play on. He's obviously looking for some more clues. And by the way, for you folks at home, that first clue didn't help you find out who the faker is. Don't worry about it, because any one of the clues coming up could tell you exactly who that, guy, that faker is. Excuse me, I got a little caught up there. Bob, you're smiling right at me, and the rays are hitting me right in the eye. <laughs> Ray, Barbara, Bob, and Carol, two right answers. You get to see a clue to the faker's identity. Right now, Carol, you have one right answer. And Ray, Barbara, and Bob, you have zero. Here's your next question. The Nile River, the Mississippi River, Lake Erie, Howard Cosell. 
Which does not run off at the mouth? Bob. A uh, Lake Erie. That's right. <laughs> Lake Erie is right. A lake, doesn't, a lake doesn't have a mouth, Bob, and you knew that. All right, here's your next question. Show their bodies, evening gown competition, performed for judges, declared a winner. Which is not part of a weightlifting contest? Barbara. Evening gown competition. Good for you. That's the right answer, Barbara. Barbara, Bob, and Carol, all three of you have one right answer. It takes two to see a clue. Here's your next question. Dwight Eisenhower, Lyndon Johnson, George Washington, Jimmy Carter. Which president is not buried in the United States? Bob. Uh, Jimmy Carter. Jimmy Carter is right. <laughs> Anywhere. Jimmy Carter's right because he's still alive. Bob, very good for you. You have two right answers. You get a look at your next clue. So here it is for you and for you folks as well. Bob and only Bob, uncover your clue and take a look at it. The faker will show something which was created by the Japanese. This is our show and tell clue. So all four of you just reach behind you, grab whatever's back there and stand up and tell us what you've got. Ray, we'll start with you. I have a, a Spanish omelet. A Spanish? Uh, don't tilt that too far, Ray, okay? Uh, Barbara, what do you have? Well, I have a Hawaiian punch. Hawaiian punch. And Bob? I have a uh, Roman candle. Roman candle. And Carol, what do you hold? I have Venetian blinds. Venetian blinds. <laughs> Bob, uh, take a look at those four items. All four of you can sit down right now. Take a look at those four items, Bob. Ray was holding a Spanish omelet. Barbara had a Hawaiian punch. Bob was holding a Roman candle, and Carol had Venetian blinds. Bob, you have a decision to make. You know how the game works? If you know who the faker is, now's the time to freeze. What are you going to do, Bob? I'm going to freeze. You're going to freeze. Then press that button and lock in the name of who you think the faker is now. Bob's answer is locked in backstage. He will no longer be competing for any clues. We will be continuing our search for the faker and that fortune, though, right after this. Come on back. Fortune Hunters with one player frozen, three players still in the game. Remember, everybody, two right answers. You get to see a clue to the faker's identity. Right now, Ray, you have no right answers. Barbara and Carol, you each have one right answer. Here's your next question. Goose, pinch, black, blue, which is not a type of berry. Barbara. A pinch. That's right. <laughs> I was waiting to hear that bell. That's right, Barbara. You were waiting, too, weren't you? Barbara, that bell ringing like that means you've answered two questions correctly, so now you get to exchange those two answers for the next clue. Here it is for you and for you folks as well. Barbara and only Barbara, uncover your clue and take a look at it. When the faker presses the button, you will hear a sound the average American makes 382 times a year. Now, this is the sound effects clue, so I'm going to ask all four of you to press your sound effects button and make a sound. We'll start with you, Ray. Press that button right there. <laughs> I hope that was the sound effects clue, Ray. <laughs> Barbara, you want to push your button? Now, you know I'm not going to say anything about that. All right, Bob, go ahead. Oh, my back. <laughs> and Carol. <laughs> All right, Barbara, I hope those four sounds made some sense to you because you have a decision now. You know how the game works. If you think you know who the faker is, now's the time to freeze. What are you going to do? I'm going to freeze. You're going to freeze right. and press that button in front of you and lock in the name of who you think the faker is now. All right, now, Barbara and Barbara, both frozen. Ray and Carol, you're still in the game. Carol, you have one right answer. Ray, you're at zero. Here's your next question. Over hill, over dale, the dusty trail, the country. Which was not a good place for Roy Rogers to ride trigger? Ray. Over dale. Over dale, that's right. 
Roy Rogers would never ride Trigger over Dale Evans. All right, Ray, one right answer for you, one right answer for you, Carol. This next question, and one of you will get to see a clue. Seashells, seagulls, seaweed, the Beach Boys. Which is not something you could listen to. Carol. Seaweed. Seaweed is right. right. <laughs> Carol, you exchange those two right answers for the next clue. Here it is for you and for you folks as well. Carol and only Carol, uncover your clue and take a look at it. Behind the faker is John Travolta as a child. And let's see what we've got. Behind Ray, we have a baby picture. And behind Barbara is another little cutie. Behind Bob is another tyke. And behind Carol is our last little toddler. Four baby pictures. And I might add, some of them are good looking and some of them are not. <laughs> but Carol, look those four little faces over. And you're going to have to make a decision at this time. You know how we play, Carol. If you think you know who the faker is, now's the time to freeze. What do you want to do, Carol? This is really difficult, but I think I'm going to freeze. All right, then um, press that button in front of you and lock in the name of who you think the faker is now. Ray, as you know, according to our rules, when the third player freezes, the fourth player must freeze as well. Now, I realize you haven't seen any clues yet, but with a little luck, you can still wind up winning this game. So at this time, I have to ask you, press that button and lock in the name of who you think the faker is now. And that's the end of our search for the faker. We'll find out who the faker is, and more importantly, who, if anyone, was the first one to identify the faker right after this. Faker is and who, if anyone, won the game by picking him or her first. Now, Ray, you were the last player to freeze, but if you guessed right and the fortune hunters who froze before you are wrong, you can still wind up winning the game. You didn't see any clues, you were the fourth player to freeze, and you think the faker is Barbara. Barbara. All right, now we come down to Carol. Carol, you were the third player to freeze. You saw one clue, and you think the faker is? Ray. Ray. Yeah. <laughs> Barbara, back over to you. You were the second player to freeze. You saw one clue, and you think the faker is? Carol. Carol. <laughs> All right, Bob, you were the very first player to freeze. You saw two clues more than any of our other players. And you think the faker is... Carol. Carol. By the way, we've instructed our faker not to choose himself or herself so we could keep the suspense going to this very moment, the moment when we all find out who the faker is. Do you think you know? Let's find out. Faker, show us your fortune. It's Carol, and that means Bob is the winner! Because you were the first person to correctly identify the faker. Congratulations, Bob. Bob, because you were the first player to correctly identify the faker and you won the game, we're going to give you $500, oh, and that's nice. yours to keep regardless of what happens from here on in. And before we go any further, let's just explain a clue or two to confirm the faker's identity. Remember the clue that said, behind the faker is the person who appeared on the cover of Time magazine most often? Well, that honor belongs to Richard Nixon, and there he is right in back of our faker, Carol. And then there was the clue that had the faker showing something which was created by the Japanese. Venetian blinds is the answer to that one, and here's our faker, Carol, showing exactly that. The third clue said that the faker would make the sound the average American makes 382 times a year. And that's the sound of a phone call, which is why when Carol pressed the button, you heard this. Our final clue said that behind the faker is John Travolta as a child. And believe it or not, that's little Johnny behind our faker, Carol. And that's enough evidence to nab anybody. All right.
right, Bob and Carol, come on up here. Go ahead, go for it. Both of you, join me up here. Ray, we have some lovely prizes for you backstage. You did a nice job. Barbara, the same goes for you. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. Now, let's see how many fortune hunters guess the faker. How many people have Carol's picture up there? There's two. So, Bob, as our winning fortune hunter, I am going to give you two of these. We call them flips. Now, never mind what they're for. I'll explain all of that to you in a minute. And, Carol, let's see how many fortune hunters you fooled. How many people do not have Carol's picture up there? There's one. So, Carol, you will get one flip. And very important, the more flips you have, the better chance you have to win thousands of dollars in cash and prizes when you, Bob, our winning fortune hunter, go against you, Carol, our faker, in the photo finish, which is coming up right after this. Here we are back to play our photo finish with Bob, our winning fortune hunter, and Carol, our faker, jealously guarding her fortune. Let me tell you how we play. Our game will last one minute and 30 seconds. Behind each of these numbers is a picture. All of these pictures are randomly placed. Some easy to identify, some more difficult. One of our contestants will call out a number, and if they can correctly identify the picture behind it, they get a point. They continue to play as long as they're right. When they're wrong, their opponent gets to play until their opponent makes a mistake. Whoever has the most points when time's up wins the game. And, um, oh yes, remember this, our flip well, during the commercial, Bob secretly placed his two flips somewhere on that board. And Carol did the same with her one flip. Anytime a player hits a flip, control flips over to the other player just as if a wrong answer were given. Now, Bob and Carol, as you both know, whoever wins the game goes home with the faker's fortune worth over $5,000 in cash and prizes. If during the game one of you hits 10 points, the game will be over right then and there, and your fortune will be worth over $10,000 in cash and prizes. The game begins. The game begins by showing you a face. Whoever buzzes in with the right answer first gets the first shot at the board. Buzz in with the wrong answer, and your opponent gets to start. The clock begins with the face-off. Put your hands on your buzzers. Good luck to both of you. And here we go. Charles. John Wayne, three. Right, three. No. Bob, number. Number uh, four. Four. Miss Piggy. Right, number, and that's a point. Number eight. Eight. Uh, 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 Harry, uh, Reynolds. Sorry, no, Carol, number. Number 18. 18. Oh, Piggy at the door, number 20. Right, 20. Number 11. 11. A Volkswagen Beetle. Right. Number 10. 10. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Carol, number. Number one. One. Oh, Willie Nelson. Right. Number 14. 14. Oh, sugar. Flip, <laughs> Bob. 13. 13. Uh, um, uh, Goldie Hawn. Sorry, no. Carol, number. Number five. Five. Oh! Over to you, Bob. Number two. Two. Oh, flip again. Carol. Number 19. 19. Oh, Judy Garland. Number right. 15. Seven, 15. Truman. Right. Number 17. 17. Oh. <laughs> no. Bob, number. 16. 16. Uh, uh, I don't know. Let's just take a look at the pictures that were missed today. Right Number three was General George S. Patton. Oh. Number eight was Harry Reasoner. Reasoner. 
Number 10, that was Olivia Newton-John, who you didn't know, Bob. And number 13 was Rona Barrett. Number 16, Sir Lawrence Olivier. 17 was Sigmund Freud. And finally, number 20 was J. Edgar Hoover. Carol, come on up here. Bob, not so bad. You've got $500. We have lovely prizes for you backstage. Thanks for being on the show. All right, Carol. Carol, I bet you're dying to know what your prizes are, so here they are. It's a trip to Monte Carlo. Yes, we'll fly two of you round trip to the Perry Pale Land of Monaco, where you'll spend ten marvelous days and nights in magnificent Monte Carlo. And so that the memories of your trip can be relived again and again, here's a videotape camera and recorder. It's the Sharp DC 3500 video cassette recorder and camera. And finally, to top it all off, $1,000 in spending money. All together, bringing your fortune to a total of $6,563. Carol, over $6,000. Congra congratulations. And everybody out there, join us tomorrow for a brand new show and a brand new faker whose name will be... Uh, 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 you'll find out soon enough on the next edition of... Fortune Hunters! is a Jane Wolfer production in association with Metro Media Video Productions. This is Johnny Gilbert speaking. If you like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more. And check out my Facebook page for other exciting content.